Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, the Louisiana Lottery, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Amerigroup Insurance, McLean Financial Group, the Communities of Color Network, Tobacco-Free Living, Mid-South Bank, and Jerry Lane Buick GMC. Hello and welcome to week 11 of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. We come to you each week from the end zone, Daiquiri's and Bar, located at 6224 Plank Road. We invite you to come out in the neighborhood at 7 o'clock, talk a little Southern University football with Coach and I while you enjoy some wings and some beverages. Coach, let's jump right into it. Tough game Saturday night against TSU. Very close, final score 26-10. to 10 that was ultimately decided by your stout defense. Three big interceptions, two in the red zone. To me, they were the difference of the game. Well, I really thought they kept us in the game. I thought they played inspired football, really had some costly turnovers, uh, still got some things we can improve, improve on, but overall, I really like the effort of the, of the defense. Coach, moving forward, your quarterback, Austin Howard, got rocked a couple of times in this game. What we gotta do to protect him better? Well, you know, some of those uh, decisions were were his, you know, holding on to the ball, got to get got to get rid of the ball. And some of it was protection, you know, a couple of uh, protection breakdowns. Uh, some of our running backs had a couple of protection breakdowns. But I think overall, you know, they, we got to keep him upright. We know if we can keep him upright, he can deliver the football and, and move it down the field and really be effective. Coach, the all-time rushing champ, Mr. Leonard Tillery, 125 yards just a model of consistency. Well, exactly, you know, and I think, you know, in November you got to be able to run the football, and that's really what we stress. I, I really think you can put teams away. Uh, you keep some of the high-powered offenses off the field when you're able to run the football and play timely defense and, and great special teams. So if we continue to do those things with Lenore Tillery back there, he gives us a chance for a home run every time he touch it. We're excited about how he's performing. Well, let's jump into some highlights, Coach, and show the folks exactly what happened at A.W. Mumford Stadium against the Texas Southern Tigers. Coach, they come out and just, you know, there again, we're talking about your defense. They were swarming to the ball. Well, it's great to see a lot of hats to the football. That means they're confident and really playing with a lot of energy and emotion. Here, uh, Howard hits. DeAndre uh, Brown for 20, then he hits Willie Quinn for 14. Coach, you had to be pleased with how you moved the ball. Well, exactly, spreading it around, you know, that's Tilly with a good run, and just, just letting a lot of guys touch the football. On this drive, we actually punt, they get the ball back. Coach, great hit by Tiller and Preston uh, on the play right here. Uh, Hurts rushes for seven, and uh, that was a good hit by Lumpkins. He's been playing well for you, Coach. Well, another guy that's, that's filling his role, getting a chance, making the best of his opportunity. You see Lenard Tillery grinding for nine. Then you see Lenard Tillery grinding some more. Unfortunately, we throw an interception there that's returned 73 yards for the first score of the game, and the Tigers go up 7-0 on the Jaguars, Coach. Well, you look up, you behind, and you know, you gotta got to sell for football game, and I like the way the guys bounce back. Yep, Howard hits uh, Kirtland Williams for 11. Tillery takes one for 13. Tillery takes one for nine, and he gets one for eight. And then Howard gets back and he hits uh, Beard for 19. Coach, I've really been liking that Howard to Beard uh, connection all season. Well, Dylan Beard is another one of those weapons for us that, that once the ball's in his hands, he's capable of making plays. Lenard Tillery does the rest as he takes it three yards over the goal line. At this juncture, it's 7-7 on the Albuquerque kick. Coach, we're on defense. Mitchell gets a good stop right here, Coach. Wide open field tackle. That's what you call bringing them down. Well, it's a great open field tackle and you know, great play. Give us a chance to play some more defense. Ledbetter comes on with the one-yard loss. And then one of those big red zone interceptions, Coach, right there by Epps. Great interception, Coach. Great interception, time of interception. Anytime you can hold teams out of the end zone in the red zone, it's a sign that you're getting better on defense. 
Howard hits Quinn for eight, comes back to Monday for 16. We're moving the ball, he hits Menard for nine, goes to his big tight end Beard for 12. And then coach, Herbert Edwards, where has this guy been all year? He ran the ball extremely well all night. Yes, and you know, Herb's one of those guys that work extremely hard. And what we try to tell guys in the program, just be patient, keep working hard, but be ready when you get your opportunity. I was happy to see him have some success on Saturday. I think everybody was happy to see him, especially when they learned what his name was. And there you see him taking it down to the one yard line. And fittingly, he takes it over for his first touchdown. Coach, at this juncture, the score is 14-7, and the Jaguars are starting to move. Well, you know, I think when you got the kind of uh, players that we have on offense, it's just getting in the rhythm, and you can see that the Herb gave us a, a different punch. Here you see Lenard Tillery grinding for 15, and there you have it, Coach. That's the end of the first half, 14-7 Jaguars. When we come back, we'll look at the second half of the Southern versus Texas Southern game on the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. At Mid-South Bank, we're dedicated to providing loans that allow our customers to achieve their business and personal dreams. That's one promise you can bank on. We're not just business associates, we're neighbors. We're committed to our customers and the strength of our local economy. Here at Mid-South Bank, responsibility matters. With locations in Texas and Louisiana and still growing, discover how our customers are finding strength in numbers at Mid-South Bank. Traveling with kids is kind of a nightmare, but flying out of BTR makes it stress-free. Everyone there is so much friendlier than any other airport I've been to. You can't have a fantastic city without the community support of a great airport. I can actually get anywhere in the world from right here in town. BTR makes travel so easy that I feel at home right when my plane lands. It takes almost no time to get back to my family. So that feeling of, ah, uh, this is home, for me, happens at BTR. So we can feel forever you feel Together be real, together No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Here we go! Taste the feeling Welcome back to the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, at the half, 14-7, what do you tell your team at halftime to get them prepared to go over the victory line? Well, you know, a, you know, win the, win the ball game. You know, it's, it's going to be a tough fight all the way to the end. You got to, you got to refocus. You got to rededicate yourself. When you got to come out in the second half and, and show, you know, who's the better team. And I really thought our guys came out and played inspired football. Coach, got to ask you, local Scotlandville product. Dondre uh, Dobbins had a big night for the Texas Southern Tigers, seven tackles, and just really was all over the field. How do we let that kid get out of Baton Rouge? Well, you know, I think it's a choice. You know, I, I think when it was time for, for him to make a decision on what school he wanted to go to, I think he originally signed with uh, Texas San Antonio. Okay. And then I think he transferred to uh, Texas, Southern. Texas Southern. So, you know, I think those things happen. Guys make decisions. and. You know, all you can do is knock on doors and provide opportunities for young men to come be a part of your program. But, you know, like we tell them, you know, we got a special place over at Southern, and if you, if you go somewhere in the conference and we got to play, we'll look forward to, to embracing that opportunity. And it's our job to make sure that you don't get a chance to taste victory against the Jags. All right, let's jump into the second half highlights from the Texas Southern game. Coach, again, we come out with a 14-7 lead. Uh, 
basically, Avarion Hurts, he gets a good stop right there by Tiller. Howard hits Tillery for 35 yards. Unfortunately, we punt. Hurts comes back and uh, com makes a complete pass, but Epps makes a great tackle. Hurts then rushes, another good stop by Tiller. Coach, your defense is really all over the place. And then, of course, you got to love it. The big interception by Danny Johnson, his fifth on the season. That kid has a future maybe at the next level, Coach. Great head on him, always in the right spot. A very, very high competitive individual. Just great to see him making plays. That young man we talked about earlier, Herbert Edwins, takes ones for 10. Shorts finds Menard for 38 yards, and then John West runs for seven yards. And then Howard hits Menard for 23 yards. Uh, Coach, ultimately we get a field goal out of this uh, from Albuquerque. At this juncture, the score is 17-10. We're back on defense. Another interception, this time by Rashad Turner. Great interception, Coach. Well, you know, anytime you can put, um, have a short field, get the ball back to an explosive offense, it gives you a chance to really create some separation. Coach, on these two runs by Lennard Tillery, you really saw his patience as he waited for blocks to set up. He didn't just rush into the hole. He got 11 on one carry, seven on another carry, five on another carry, and then ultimately, he was trying to take one in over the top, and he actually fumbled, but luckily for us, Abby recovered, and we he got the touchdown. I don't know what happened on this extra point, Coach. Was it blocked? Yeah, it got some penetration in the middle. The guys just you can't relax. You got to be locked in and, and uh, constantly doing your job. 23-10 at this juncture. Here you see Hurts getting sacked by Preston. Here's a good a pass to Woodard, and Preston and Bryant make a good stop. John West gets a chance to tote the ball. He runs for five. Edwards is back in the game. He's going to run for eight. Then Edwards is going to run for seven. Coach, I was really happy to see this kid Edwards run the ball the way he did. He really wants some playing time, Coach. I heard he was fourth on the depth chart starting the season. Well, you know, no, we, got, we got plenty of depth at the running back position. Uh, Tillery does a great job. Wes, Landres, and Elwood and Crawford, those guys really come to work and do a great job helping our offense become explosive. You saw Kirtland Williams take catch one for 19, then Piro got one for 25, and then Albuquerque makes that uh, field goal. Final score, 26-10 Jaguars. When we come back, we'll look at our Alpha Media Players of the Week and have our Coca-Cola player interviews. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. have two kids and like any mom I want them to be healthy so I chose Amerigroup Louisiana for our healthy Louisiana plan we get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage but you know what I really like I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits choose Amerigroup Louisiana call 1-855-229-6848 today that's 1-855-229-6848 to gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. You know what? It's tradition. It's family, and that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. We're a 
the Jerry Lane family. All roads lead to you can count on Jerry Lane. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Of course, each week we come to you from the end zone, Daiquiri's and Bar. We welcome you to come out in the neighborhood of about 7 o'clock. Talk a little SU football with Coach and I after we finish the show. Coach, jumping right back into it, who are our Alpha Media Players of the Week this week on offense, defense, and special teams? Well, offensively, you know, got an offensive lineman who really played well. You know, his first time being the uh, Alpha Media Player of the Week for offense, and that's Christian Rodriguez. Special teams, our lone snapper, uh, David Michael turned in one of his better games, and linebacker Rashad Turner. Uh, represents the defense. Those are your Alpha Media Player of the Week. There you have it. All right, Coach. After the game, I made it a point that we were going to catch up with the guys who open up the holes for Lennard Tillery to make him the greatest running back in SWAC history, the guys who protect Austin Howard so he can throw all those yards. And we caught up with the nickel, the offensive lineman of Southern University football, and Joe filed this report. Well, Todd, let me tell you something, man. This is a rare occasion. We've got not a dollar, not a quarter, <laughs> not a dime, but we got the Southern University nickel in the building. And this is the offensive line that has been blocking for who is now the greatest running back in SWAC history. So let me start it off with that question. Uh, how does it feel to block for Lenard Artillery, who is now the overall greatest rusher in SWAC history. Your name, your position, and your number. Oh. Terrell Lee, 65, center. It feels great to block for Lenard Tiller, a hardworking guy. We knew coming to this season that he was uh, inching to break the record, and we just knew that we had to get more attention to detail with our blocks and just hold our blocks because, you know, in any, any given time, Tiller can break one for a long run. So we just was honing on, standing on our blocks and just finishing them so Tiller can get the record as he does now. That's what I'm talking about. Speaking about Lenard Tillery, we're always trying to find out something about Lenard Tillery that don't nobody know. So they say you the man who knows the real lowdown on Lenard Tillery. So give it up. What's up with Lenard Tillery that we don't know about? My name is Anthony Mosen. I'm a 7 to 5 right guard. Uh, Lenard, he's a constructor. He know how to put up roofs. He know how to put up uh, sheetrock, bare rock floor. Uh, for the past two summer, him and his dad and a couple of friends, they've been doing that. A couple of houses around uh, Banner Roads. He'll train at night, but during the day he's working, he'll build houses and help his community, his community out. So, so he bobbed the builder on the cool. <laughs> bobbed the builder on the cool. Here's the question I've got for you. As we continue to move on, what's it going to take for us to be the next SWAC champions? All right, Jamal Bowden, number 67, left guard. And, um, all it's going to take is going one and oh, focusing on the next opponent. Don't look past them. You know, just focusing on the little things, the fundamentals, hat placement, footwork, hands, just the stuff Coach preach on every day in practice. We just take care of that, keep opening up lanes for the running back, protect them for Austin. Can't nothing stop us. That's what I'm talking about. And last but not least, <laughs> since I said it ain't a dollar, not a quarter, not a dime, it is the nickel. How much does the nickel eat? <laughs> Mason Sims, uh, 66, left tackle. Uh, to put it short, we eat a lot, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, pregame meal, breakfast, you know, in the cafeteria on regular school days. We just, you know, we keep going up for seconds, thirds. Uh, I eat the most out of everybody, but, you know, I'm, I'm keeping it under control. I'm cutting my proportions down so I can play better and play light. But um, pregame meal, you know, I just got to get all my energy. You're going to get it in. Yeah. And family, this is the rest of the nickel. Skylar Pro, number 76, the right tackle. Christian Rodriguez, left tackle, number 62. My name is Jodice Harris, just like the group, you know, number 77, right tackle. I am Jeremiah Abbey, left guard and left tackle, number 64. These are the guys who do it big. We're here after <laughs> a hurt. grimy, dirty, hard-hitting game with our quarterback, Austin Howard. Now, Austin, tonight, man, you took some hits, some real hits. How did that feel? <laughs> I mean, getting hit never feels good, you know, but uh, God gave me the ability to get, to get back up after each and every hit. So, I mean, I'm thankful for that. I'm blessed for that. So, you know, uh, the hits really doesn't bother me. Understanding that, Austin, as we make our path to the SWAC championship, I know Coach's philosophy now is 1-0. Just keep going 1-0. We got the win tonight as we get ready to take on our next Texas opponent, 
Prairie View. What's the game plan? Just get back and practice and work. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. you know how you play on Saturdays? You really, do, you really don't play the game on Saturday. You play the game Monday through Friday and practice. So, you know, however we practice, that's how we're going to play. And, you know, that, that shows up uh, each and every week. That shows true to each and every week. Well, Todd, it's hard work here on the Bluff. You heard it on the Jaguar football show. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, guys. Guys, you just got a chance to see the nickel, the offensive lineman who blocks for Lenard Tillery. Stay tuned as we come back and talk about Southern's next big game against Prairie View Panthers at their new $25 million stadium at Blackshear Stadium in Prairie View, Texas on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. At Mid-South Bank, we're dedicated to providing loans that allow our customers to achieve their business and personal dreams. That's one promise you can bank on. We're not just business associates, we're neighbors. We're committed to our customers and the strength of our local economy. Here at Mid-South Bank, responsibility matters. With locations in Texas and Louisiana and still growing. Discover how our customers are finding strength in numbers at Mid-South Bank. Traveling with kids is kind of a nightmare, but flying out of BTR makes it stress-free. Everyone there is so much friendlier than any other airport I've been to. You can't have a fantastic city without the community support of a great airport. I can actually get anywhere in the world from right here in town. BTR makes travel so easy that I feel at home right when my plane lands. It takes almost no time to get back to my family. So that feeling of, ah, uh, this is home, for me, happens at BTR. So we can feel forever, yeah, feel Together, be real, together No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Together, be real, Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. You know, I stand corrected. Coach and I were talking about Prairie View's new stadium. It's a $61 million stadium, not $25 million. That's a lot of difference in millions of dollars. Coach, <clears throat> the Prairie View Panthers, good season right so far. Six and three, six and oh, six and one in conference. They're coming off of a 31-27 win over Alcorn this past Saturday. Coach, what do the Panthers like to do on offense and defense? Offensively, they run that spread attack. You know, I think they want to run the football first and then spread the ball out to quality uh, wide receivers and skill set of individuals that they have on their team. Defensively, they're multiple. They're going to be all over the place, love to pressure you, love to get you behind the sticks, and, you know, got to do a great job. You know, and special teams, they're very sound, have some pretty good returners. So, it's going to take a group effort. You know, we're going to have to be locked in with the right mindset and, and really come out to work this week and get ourselves prepared to go down and play a really good football team. Coach, let's look at the SWAC standings uh, because right now we're in November. This is the home stretch. As you can see on the West, it's Grambling and us at 6 and 0, Prairie View at 6 and 1. In the East, it's wide open. You got two, three, and four teams, two, three, and five teams. Four teams could make it to the championship. Coach, on the west side though, let's talk about the west. If we can beat Prairie View and we can get to the Bayou Classic undefeated in Grambling, that's going to be an epic Bayou Classic. Well, you know, I really think that it starts this weekend and we got to really be locked in and focusing on Prairie View because I really think that they're a good football team. Their one loss came to Grambling. 
you know, and they're, they've been playing well. They've found the way to win close football games, and that's a mark of a good football team. And we got, we got to go play, you know, and I think if we get ourselves prepared to play and really lock in, we're as good as anybody uh, on the schedule. So, But we got to go play and play well and get off to a great start on the road. It ought to be a great environment, and we're looking forward for the opportunity to go down there and play a great football game. Well, you heard it here from the coach. Get your tickets, be in Blackshear Stadium in Prairie View, Texas, and support those Jags. When we come up, when we come back, we'll wrap up this week's edition of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. I have two kids, and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Amerigroup Louisiana for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Amerigroup Louisiana. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. You know what? It's tradition, it's family, and that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. We're a Jerry Lane family. Always be to You can count on Jerry Lane. Jaguar Nation, we need you to. Go ahead on and make your plans to come to Houston and take the 45-minute drive over to Prairie View and support those Jaguars this Saturday at Blackshear Stadium on the campus of Prairie View University. All right, Coach, good luck. Go, Go Jags! Jags.